Showcard is an identity management platform where the basis of what we've created is that users should have control of their data. Uh, privacy is of utmost importance. They decide how and where to share the data. So they start out by scanning some, uh, it could be anything from government IDs to uh, just getting their emails or phone number, things that identifies them depending on the type of application they're engaging with. But they store all the data on their mobile device itself. We encrypt it, keep it on the mobile device, and never store that in a central database. And that's one of the key components of creating the next generation of ID management. The problem with that is, well, you got your data on your phone. Well, how do you create security? How do you authenticate the data? So we go through a process of creating hashes of that data, digitally signing it on the mobile device, and putting records of that on the blockchain. That becomes a proof of record where it associates what the user may have with the raw data on the phone and the digital record that's on the blockchain, but you can't reverse engineer that one back into their data. And that's a key component of it. And the second part is, just like we do in the real world, being able to authenticate the individual by taking that ID to uh, someone of authority who could do that. Like today, when you open up a bank account, you go to a teller perhaps, you show them your ID, they give you a bank account, that becomes authentication. Want to get uh, through TSA, you present your data, uh, which is your driver's license or passport, they let you access, but they do the authentication. But what we do in this process is recording that, so that when you do that authentication, a certification is created by that third party, be it the bank, could be an airline, could be a government agency, and that record goes on the blockchain, pointing back to your data. What happens here is we've created an environment where the user data is still with them, but the proof of authentication is on the blockchain. Then the user can actually decide who to share that with, when they do, a third party, a verifier, checks the data on the blockchain, being able to tell, yep, is this an authenticated person? Is this really who they claim to be or not? And we can add other things like biometrics into that to not only identify a physical device, but a physical device that belongs to a person. So that's the idea of the platform in terms of what we have. A lot of our clients embed that within their own applications. Uh, we have SDKs available that a lot of our clients have actually uh, done, uh, integrated through both mobile applications as well as server side, but uh, that enables them to have the identity management that Showcard has, and then there's a lot of fun user cases that actually gets created to solve real, real world problems for them. Well, the concept you know, is basically helping you know, CIOs, CISOs, um, to be able you know, to secure you know, their enterprise. It's creating you know, the utmost and paramount importance you know, for any organization. And as we've seen, you know, lately, there's been a lot of breaches, you know, going on. Whether it's Equifax, Uber, and other organizations, it's unfortunate. But hackers, you know, are looking, you know, for ways to be able, you know, to gather records, you know, from organizations, you know, in the millions. We have different customers. We've really focused on the financial sector as well as air travel. And with both of those use cases, ultimately, users have to scan additional data, such as their driver's license and passports. Um, that's used for KYC with banks, for example, or it's used for registration with an airline or uh, uh, government agencies in order to have people go through security lines. But once they do that registration once, they can actually go through the proving who they are, either in the physical world, for example, at an airport being able to through various gates, at near walking speed, where biometrics checks are done, the user with permission can actually uh, share their data, their passport data, travel data, and be able to go through and not have to stop to show the data to a physical person. Other cases of it, and you see those in some of the demos that we have, is being able to log into websites, again, without username passwords. If they do a financial transaction, rather than having it, uh, let's say, credit card transaction get rejected, they can simply uh, get a notification, they authenticate that with who they are, they have record of that on the blockchain, being able to prove that it was the user who authenticated it, but go through the process with a lot less friction and being able to actually make the transactions less costly before the enterprise as they engage with them. So those are some of the summary of the use cases, and as we uh, foresee it in the future, there's a lot of other verticals in the health industry, education, and other areas where these uh, credentials can also become valuable.